Hello everybody, it's uh, City Medhaven here today, and I, I wanted to play a little bit of uh, M47 Iron Arnie. Um, I've been working on a couple of tanks, I'm getting a couple of uh, ideas for videos, and I, I have a couple made. More than likely I'm going to be trying to get those out in the next couple of days. Uh, currently my mom, she just got out of surgery, so I've been spending more time helping her out. And I haven't had a whole lot of time to record or really play. It's kind of like I'll put in two matches and then she needs something, so I, I run up. <laughs> she, had, she had surgery on her ankle. But she's doing fine. She's doing just fine. It's kind of funny. We're all calling her Gimpy. Just giving her as much crap as we can. But we're showing as much appreciation as well. Uh, anyways, this is the Super Pershing of Tier 10. The M47 Iron Army. You're looking at 65mm of frontal spaced armor. 76mm of side armor. Along with 50.8 on the rear end of the engine bay. Which means you're still capable of blocking 152mm guns. At auto ricochet angles. You know what? I actually don't want to pull right here. But I, I'm a, a little bit blown away at the fact that they gave this thing 268 AP standard pin, which is superior to 268 APCR. And these also have a shell velocity of uh, 1400 and 78. So they're fast AP rounds. Like these are really good AP rounds. However, the accuracy of this tank, I wouldn't say it's the most impressive thing at 0.36 with the AP. Even, like, with the way that my crew's set up, I'm not exactly bolstering the accuracy as much as I can. In all honesty, there's no point to bolster the accuracy, but the gun feels a little bit strange at times, because you'll have shells that will like to go far, wide, all over the place, and then just repeat the process and completely avoid whatever you were aiming at prior. There we go. Wasn't a penetration, but you know, it's a, that was a threat threat shot, okay? That's all he needs to know, is that that was a threat. I'm coming for you, 268 version 5. One of the most over-buffed tanks in the game. Because they gave it away multiple times, and they're all like, It needs to be better than what it was. Let's make it better than the IS-7 frontal hull. And there we go, 390 block. I actually wonder how much I can get blocked this match. Even though I'm being suppressed by artillery. The decoy tag is always nice. Gonna get a little bit lost in thought here. Hafaya Pass. I'm, I, I don't know how many of you guys are a fan of this map, but personally, uh, this, this map could um, get buried and never pop up in map rotation again, and I would be completely fine with it. There's a lot of people that agree with that statement. I just wonder how many. Especially, this is a little bit strange. They all came down low. I guess this is what late night gameplay looks like in World of Tanks. The strategy's changed throughout the time of the day. Alright, safe to push. A little bit of a snapshot there. It's not bad. And I forgot I didn't change my uh, settings on my controller, so I can't clutch like I want to. I am a Muppet. What is that? Let's actually go for a tracking shot. I'm going to repeat that tracking shot every single time. There we go. Gotta love the track assist. Iron rain up top. Compounds are 50 ton. Oh my. Twenty-four seconds left on base cap for them, and then, then this is gonna be a win. Oh my, even with almost 17 power to weight, 16.95, this thing feels like it's crawling up hills. Just absolutely crawling. Here we are. Beautiful AP, and there right there, there's the normalization kicking at the 268, straight through the front plate. 
get ever so slightly past that auto ricochet angle and then it's easy pen. Alright, that's not a first, uh, that's not a bad first match inside the M47. Um, second class mastery, bruiser medal. What was the track assist this game? It's 627 and 827 spotting. So, if you guys didn't know this, um, between spotting and tracking, uh, what it, whichever is the highest is the one that it will be taken and thrown into your pool of damage for your mark of excellence. If you guys didn't know that, you do now. And then again, it's like, don't feel like you need to not track a target, because tracking targets is always good, no matter the situation. And help run. I'm kind of wondering... I, I might make a stupid play this game, <laughs> but <laughs> what am I not making stupid plays? I'm always making stupid plays. And here we go. I actually want to try and get up on the top of this hill. Because if you can get on top of here, you can essentially make a nest. It's been a long time since I've said that. Make a nest. Fortify your nest. Get in it. It's your home. It is your place. No no one's allowed in. Uh, close my door. Get out of my room. Uh, this is mine. It, or at least it's going to be mine. I'm going to try and make it mine. These two trees and this one right here. I might load a high explosive in to knock that one down because I don't want to come back up to hit it. May maybe, maybe not. We got shots in that arachnid. We do. Good hit. A mill two spotted. This is a really risky position to get into, so it's like, if it doesn't work for you, this is a hard one to get on and hold down. This is not something you'll do overnight. Like, this shot right here, I will get spotted. Or not. 1,800 assisted so far. It's always enjoyable. The 6.2 second reload on this feels really good. But with all the heavies that have 6 seconds, uh, 400 alpha... It does kind of take away from this just a little bit. But the AP at 268, yeah, that's actually really good. Plus the shell velocity. Uh, 427. If he pulls back, I should be safe to fire. There we go. And a tracking shot, too. for that track again. I think he's already used his repair kit, so I should be fine to... There we go. I'm gonna pull off that light tank. And we pulled off too far. Someone from left caught us out. I don't believe it was the light tank, but it could be. Someone on our left actually might have spotted us out. There we go. T-49 taken down. What is up behind me? Machine? Okay. So I should be mildly safe to pull in this machine right here. There we go. Do I want to stay up here or do I want to drop down? I actually think I might want to drop. No, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue to play safe right here. There we go. Bait the shell. Now we're going to pull. Beautiful. We kept his attention. That's all that mattered. Alright, this is going to turn into a slow play. I might... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do a drop down here and left and then try and get up on their side. Do I have shots in that waffle? No, I do not. And one thing I love to do, but I keep on forgetting to change my controller settings. There is some clutch. If I tap it, I'm just going to turn off my auto drive. Because <laughs> I got multiple settings on this. Let's see if he pulls his tracks out. I don't think he's going to get high enough. Is it wrong that I want to test my armor against that? I just want to pull up and get right in the face of the Yagru and see if I can absorb it. Actually, gonna try that. We're gonna pull up on the left side. And they should be. Oh, hello, Waffle. 
Hello, Yagaru. I do... Okay, he fired, so that's safe. Safe. Wait, 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 wait. Fire. There we go. Make him use his repair kit. But we got damage and a tracking shot, so I made him waste his repair kit. On top of that... There we go. Let's raise our barrel. Let's put our gun in the way of our hatch as much as we can. Mm, yeah, I'm safe. There's still only two enemies left. A Turan. Oh, he came to a stop, so there went my shell. Let's actually go for overmatch track. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll finish him off, and then we're going to pull in the Yagru and finish him off, maybe. And GG. Moving up little by little, first class mastery, 4,955 dealt, 3,000 assisted, 3 kills, and we had, uh, yeah, that was 3,000 spot assist, there was no track assist inside that entire lineup. I did get the patent tracked, but I was wondering if anyone shot him during the time I had that, but I, I guess I'm just being a Muppet. And we're on Fjords. You know, I kind of wish they would have done something with um, E5, E6 in this area. And actually made that little mountain usable in the middle. That would have been so nice. Ah. The normal YOLO play on fjords. Everyone going left. Whenever you spawn on this side. Here we are. Is that 105 going to pull? He is. He's going to get stuck. Ah. Okay. Shovel lost. He played against me there. I should have... Uh, let a little bit more. Shell went far left. So. There we go. Let's see if we can pull. There's an SU right around this corner. Should be okay. I probably didn't need to use my repair kit there, but that was just a panic reaction because I want to get caught out by the autoloader. Three ninety blocked, and the other two shells. Where'd they go? Was he just focused on the track, or did one of them travel through the space armor and didn't count? All right, that is not a push I want to play because I don't know what's on left. But I am thinking about wanting to fall back to base, just because that seems like a really good idea right about now. And there we go. Hello, Waffle. See, this is uh, why I didn't want to make this play, but we're okay. We got tracked at a decent angle. All right, actually, pulling in the mid. That's a good idea. All right, 279E, Panzer 7. I do got the DPM, but Layman Russ. I am still confused on where to aim at on those. Anyways, this is going to be a real bad spot here in about 15 seconds. kind of feel like it's time to start loading in the heat rounds. Maybe. We'll, we'll do one more AP, but uh, this one might not pin. There we go. Found the hatch. Ooh, that was a ricochet into the hall. Okay. And since he's rocking APCR, he's going to have a lot of easier time pinning. How uh, much farther do I got to go back? Decent ways. There we go. Ouchie. You're giving me a little bit too much of your side there. And I uh, over-angled. So, right, doing what I can. Wow, what's going on? We're going to back up because we don't get rammed at full speed. There we go. Make up my mind, left or right. And I don't get any of them. Ah! So, yeah, that shell that we heard, you can see two of them underneath the turret because... You had some ricochet off the hull into the under armor of the turret. 
So you'd hear the ricochet and it went in, but that's 4,330 blocked and 4,517 dealt and 471. Is that track or spot? I think that was spot. Not a bad match. Uh, it was a loss, unfortunately. It came down to uh, not exactly the most stressful ending. Uh, one of the VZs had um, 1,300 hit points, but was uh, not willing to push and use them to be able to take down the layman Russ, so he got knocked out pretty hard. Anyways... I'm going to do one more. There's a chance it's going to be the bad one. Steps actually might be good. Yeah, this is this might be a really good lineup. What do we got? Um, tier 10 focus. I might go heavy. I'm going to take the heavy side. All right, I'm about where I want to be. Going to find a little bit of comfortable spot, get hauled down, and then uh, play with my rate of fire. You know, it's kind of strange playing a medium like a heavy. But that's what the um, M47 Iron Army makes me think of. Oh, 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 this might be the bad one. Oh, 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 double type five. Uh-oh. This will be the first heat round I've fired this entire time that I've been playing this tank. Oh, that's unfortunate. And look at that, the splash. Straight into, I don't even know where. A AP could have torn through that hatch. Actually, can I just barely peek just high enough to see the hatch ever so slightly? Yes. Yes, I can. It's going to make uh, their shots a little bit harder to land on me. There we go. But it's un uh, it is still uncomfortable because I'm giving them my hatch each time I do this, but it did force them to back off. E4 there, off in the distance. Somewhere around there. I don't load a whole lot of heat inside this, so I don't want to go through it. Alrighty. Artillery's focusing in. This is going to be a really drawn-out fight against these uh, Type 5s. Especially since it's 12 to 12, and uh, we're lacking any heavy pushers on this side. And I just, I don't want to pull around and get HE'd to death. Because that's all this will turn into, just HE, HE. There's our E100, he's finally pulling in. And... Whatever type 5 he is uh, hitting, I'm going to make sure to team up with him. There we go. Fire in the me. I'm okay with that. And now, let's help spread the attention a little bit. There we go. Love it. All the space armor on the turret's gonna make this real easy. Version 5. Nice. I can go back to standards because we got the rear. I want to focus on his tracks, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pin him. Or we can set him on fire. Do I want to rush it? Do I want to rush it? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I want to rush it. Let's go for a tracking shot. Nice. And artillery. We all love artillery, don't we?